So I used the phrase, there are many ways to skin a cat uh, in a classroom full of Gen Z students the other day and it didn't, it didn't go down well, the kids were not okay. But the sentiment remains true. There are many ways to get a job done, whether it be a high school essay, a college paper, or a PhD literature review. And you just have to find a workflow that works for you. I've recently discovered a handy little way of linking the three apps that feature the most in my PhD workflow. If you are a user of GoodNotes and Notion and or Zotero, if you are a research student, then I'm going to spend the next few minutes showing you how you can link all three apps to make your workflow just a little bit smoother. Again, you actually, you know, disclaimer, this plugin or this little trick won't actually do the work for you. Boo, you whore. Um, I know. But, but, but it does make your workflow very seamless, particularly if, like me, you're trawling through a lot of papers in good notes, you're writing up a lot of summaries in Notion, and all the while Zotero is just hovering there in the middle being like, I'm the professional one and I should probably also have a say in this. Notion is where I do the heavy lifting of my critical thinking, my, you know, sweaty, desperate attempts to generate original knowledge. I write up critical summaries in my Notion. I have a database where they're all stored and I make connections between the themes. And that is its own system. That is the Zettelkasten or second brain system in my Notion. However, before I can get to the point where I can connect all of the things that I've read, I have to actually read them. Where Notion falls short is in two areas. Number one, it's in PDF annotation. And number two, as a research student who needs to keep a very transparent record of everything that I'm reading, aka a bibliography, Notion doesn't do that. I use Zotero, a very well-known reference manager, to manage my references. And then I use GoodNotes to annotate the PDFs of the literature that I'm reading. However, when you're managing a huge amount of files, and when you're moving between three apps that aren't really seamlessly connected all together, the workflow can be a bit stop-starty and it's a small thing, but as somebody who's very easily distracted, I was looking for a way in which it might be possible to connect all three apps. And I think I have found that way. And by connecting all three apps, I basically have just created a more streamlined workflow that helps me keep pushing the needle forward while moving in between all three softwares. So let's get into it. I'm gonna show you how to do it by working through an example in real time. So let's go. My laptop is here. So Let's say I find a document or an article online that I want to investigate further. I will save it first by using the Zotero plugin in my internet browser. It'll go into my Zotero library. I'll go into the Zotero app on my desk top to tidy it up a little bit. First thing I'll usually do is make sure that all of the bibliographic information is correct. And then I also want to have some sort of PDF file attached to this reference. And it's at this point, if I don't have one, I'll try and go find one in a very, you know, legal and correct manner. You know, I certainly don't need to go to websites like Sci-Hub or Libgen, definitely not. So I will legally download my PDF and I won't actually put this in Zotero. It's at this point, I will put my PDF, which I'm going to read and annotate into GoodNotes. At this point is I will click on the share arrow at the top of the screen once the document is opened. I click on the option to share a link to collaborate and what this does is that it removes any privacy function that is attached to this particular file. I'm simply going to put this link into my Zotero and my Notion. So first of all, let's go into Zotero. What I will be doing is going to the option in my bibliographic information that allows me to input a URL. That is where I'm going to put on the link. Bing, bang, boom. Whenever I click on the Zotero reference in Zotero, it will bring me to that link and it'll open up in my GoodNotes app on my desktop. Now let's do something similar in Notion. I have already set up and have talked about in length on this channel, a plugin between my Zotero and my Notion. So the file that I just put into my Zotero, I will now put into a specific folder in my Zotero called Zotero Notion, and that goes into my Notion database. Whole separate video on that, watch it afterwards. Stay to the end of this one though. Let's put this file into my Notion folder in Zotero. There is the little notification saying it's syncing to Notion. And now if I go into my Notion database where all of my literature is stored, you'll see that it's there as well. You'll see that I have arranged my database in Notion to have the URL property right up the front so that I can click on it 
and get access to the PDF in GoodNotes whenever I want it. It's really that easy. Does it seem a little convoluted? Possibly. But it works for me and that's the key takeaway above all things. I'll come back to what I said at the beginning. There are many ways to skin a cat and I'm not telling you that this is the way. I'm telling you that this is my way. Take what works for you and just leave the rest. So if you have found it in any way useful, consider becoming a subscriber. But you should know we're kind of a, a convoluted cohort of lovable messes here. And we certainly don't have our shit together. We are, however, triers and God loves a trier. So if that's your vibe, subscribe.